What's good guys, it's Lomba checking in and welcome back to another video. So today I'll be breaking down the gym graphics for your fitness content and how I personally like to use them. So if you're looking for Premiere Pro tutorial, make sure to click in the link in the description box. That is where you'll find the Premiere Pro version. But for today, we are on Final Cut Pro and breaking down the step-by-step -step on the gym graphics to get the best visual impact for your fitness content. So yeah, let's crack on. First thing first, make sure you create your library. So your library is where you'll find all your footage. So we can call this a gym three for the sake of the tutorial. And then within your library, you want to create a project. Let's call this one. And then we are going to be using a portrait four by five format aspect ratio um, for Instagram. And then we can do vertical for TikTok and Reels a little bit later. So 350, so 1080 by 350, and the frame rate needs to be 30 frames per second. That is the standard frame rate for most devices. And then change the codec to Rec.709, and there is your project ready to start. Simply right click here and import your footage, or just drag and drop your footage into the uh, timeline. So I've already gone through this whole entire process, but for the sake of the tutorial, I thought it's worth showing you guys. So once you purchase your gym graphics from the creation store, you'll receive a download link. Download straight to your downloads folder, unzip the folder, and then you can drag and drop your folder, your gym graphic folder into movies, motion titles, and then into titles. As you can see, I've already done that. And then you should have your gym graphics appear in the title section right there, just like that. We have all our elements right here, good to go. So for the sake of the tutorial, this is what we're looking to achieve right here. So as you can see, I'm doing an ab exercise and I'll be using the gym graphics to illustrate the movement and the muscles engaged within the movement. So let's crack on. First thing first, import your footage, select your clip. As you can see, I have an adjustment layer. You can get this for free from creation.store. This will allow you to make changes which can affect the clips below. So if you're looking to make a long bit of footage and you want to make adjustments to all of them without having to do it individually, go to your adjustment layer and then simply drag and drop the adjustment layer, click on the adjustment layer and change your settings to 90 degrees, 180 scale, and then it should fill up the screen. This is only for the people that are shooting on a camera portrait and importing their footage onto the timeline. If you're shooting on an iPhone, you don't really need to do this. If you need to color grade your footage, then you can use the adjustment layer to do that. As you can see, I've already done that for my footage, color graded and good to go. And this is what we're working with. So simply go to your gym graphics and drag the one which you'd prefer to use. For me, this is my personal go-to um, selection. So first thing first, we need to scale this to 30%. And then we need to change the Y axis to minus 30 points or frames or pixels, whichever one you want to use. As you can see, when it's rescaled, we can get a better uh, understanding of where the graphics are on the screen. So let's change this to minus 30, and then we'll change this to minus, should we do minus 10? Perfect, minus 10. And then all we need to do is select the muscle groups which are engaged within the movement. So we're gonna select the external obliques, and then we're gonna select the abs Literally is that simple. This is a very simple process. This is something that will improve your entire workflow in terms of speeding up how fast we can create visually impacting, visually, visually powerful videos. So I've selected the last muscle group and then the movement, we have a hanging leg raise, just like that. And then number of sets, four sets. 
and then the number of repetitions, eight to 12, just like that. And we have the name, the sets, and the reps. And now onto the fun part. So we want to get rid of the, I press and get rid of the background. So just simply change the background opacity to zero. So essentially this is just how transparent the background is. Each element can be customizable to fit what you're going for or your branding, um, identity, colors, and so forth. Um, so yeah, and then change the second one, the left side to zero, and we should get something similar to this. And then the next part, we're gonna be changing the colors to fit our uh, to fit our brand. So if you if you have a very specific uh, brand image or set colors, this is awesome. It means that we can actually customize the colors to fit our branding. So my favorite thing to do first thing first we can change the muscle feel to match the gym so we can change that to red just like that and then we can change the muscle outline to white so the red pops out and then the muscle outline to white again and then the body feel we're going to change this to a darker color to create contrast between the details and the background and foreground within our composition. And then the rest of the elements, we can either leave or we can change them. But I'm going to take it in, uh, the next step further and change the white color to match the title. So as you can see, the body feel is a little bit, it's not really showing too much detail. So what we can do is go to muscle outline opacity to get back some of that detail just like that. And then let that load. Boom, as you can see, it's just popping. And then we can change the muscle outline exposure to minus eight. Bear in mind, with all these settings, you can choose um, the ones that best fit what you're going for. These are fully customizable for you. So yeah. Let's crack on and then let's change it to minus eight. And then we can change the fill exposure to minus five. And then change the fill intensity to three. As we can see, the hair color still doesn't quite match the muscle fill. So we can scroll back up and change that right away. Again, we can always easily create more contrast in the video, in our graphics. So they stand out a little bit more. There we go, a little bit too dark. So let's bring it down a little bit. So guys, this is pretty much the setup for the gym graphics. Once when you've grasped the installation, it's pretty easy to get the settings right and play around with the settings to fit your video. And then to enhance the graphics and make them stand out, all we do is just simply add a gradient below the graphics. As you can see, now they really do pop. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much it guys. This was a Gym graphic tutorial for Final Cut Pro. If you want to see a Premiere Pro tutorial, make sure to follow the link in the description box. If you have any questions, feel free to ask below. So guys, this is the final outcome from the gym graphics. All right guys, so this is part one. Stay tuned for part two, where I'll be breaking down my whole entire workflow for creating a carousel for Instagram and the different elements that I use from the creation store to create my content. And of course, providing some useful tips for you guys to improve your workflow. Stay tuned.